Big Bow Gannis. Cedars 12. That is now known as the Beast. Right below the uh, flyer, there's going to be a decal made that says Beast. The next thing we're going to do to this thing is rebuild the whole front end because there's a bunch of slop in the steering. I did do a romp video. It wasn't very that long. It was like a minute long. You saw it last. Uh, I did fix on this thing. Fix the spacer. Put thicker steel in it just to see channel log together. Fix the seat because it was cracking. And uh, got the tires fixed on it. But when we rebuild the front video, I mean the front axle, we're just going to be putting a bunch of shims in it. Uh, bunch of shims and uh, may redo the bushing. You see the V tread, it's going to go on the front on both sides. I got them off an old roller tiller. There might be a splash guard going on that pulley. And there's going to be another guard built down there on the next to the skid plate for the belt. This keeps wanting to fly off. The uh, little Predator T12 actually performed pretty good. I didn't think it had enough power, but it actually had more than enough power to run this tractor. It's just too light in the front end. So I'm going to fill the front tires for my antifreeze when I put the V treads on. And uh, I'm going to build a choke lever to put it where the old choke was because this one's frozen. I don't want to move. I'm going to buy a new choke lever or a new choke cable. Mount it right here on the inside, maybe this hole, and then have a little, uh, maybe drill a hole through this, or super glue a piece of metal on here so it won't wear this out, and then stick it out a little bit and drill a hole through that, and then pull it over on the dash, because I'm really getting tired of bending forward and pulling this choke lever every time that it needs to be started. Like when I kill it, still need to choke it, even if it's been warmed up. It's getting annoying. Did put a switch on the dash, so I'm not turning it on and off like that anymore. So the switch is on the dash, the throttle's on the dash, the only need is the choke on the dash, and the steering fixed. And it should be good to go. I did put some fluid in the rear end, it stopped leaking. The next time y'all see this, it's probably going to have the V-treads on it. I haven't really decided, but I think the next time y'all going to see this, it will have the choke lever on. But, uh, there's the 12, the beast.